Hello, 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 my darling dears. So in our last Crayola video, we took a look at the Crayola Signature Brush and Detail Dual Tip Markers. These are markers designed for Crayolography. Crayolography, oh my gosh, I'm still having trouble with that word. Um, these are markers designed for brush letterers. Of course, there are loads of water-based markers designed for brush lettering on the market. You've got, just to name a very, very few, the short list, in fact, you have got Marvie Laplume Twos, you've got Zig Art and Graphic Twins, you've got Tombow ABTs, and you've got Zig Brushables. And again, that's just a few. So Crayola, why, why, why are you introducing these and you haven't yet introduced illustrator markers? Pray tell. But that is not the topic of today's video. Today's video, we're gonna compare these markers, a little friendly competition, help you decide whether or not the Crayola brush and detail markers are right for you, or if you wanna splurge a little more and get a wider array of colors available to you. So, we are going to begin with the brush and detail markers, and I paid around $14 for mine at Target. And there are loads of signature, signature boxes out on the market. There's even a uh, sketch and detail dual indie markers, which looks like Crayola Super Tips, if we're being blunt. Uh, they have higher end uh, color pencils, which we're going to be checking out on this channel, and they even have gel pens. How crazy is that? Um, the website suggests that you pay $14.99 for the 16 count, come in a beautiful metal tray, dual tip, so you get 32 colors, the 16 count brush and detail dual ended markers, and I do not believe these are available open stock. So let us see, 16 markers divided by 14.99 equals you're paying a dollar and seven cents per marker. Not a bad deal. But again, not available open stock. Go ahead and grab one. They are black markers as are like um, literally all of the other or almost all of the other calligraphy markers brush lettering markers that are ever so popular on the grams of Insta. So that is not something new and unseen and it is dual tipped again, like its competitors. Now the interesting thing is that one tip has a dark color, the other tip has a light color, which is a little unusual for these markers. Um, most of the dual tip markers that have two different sizes uh, that I'm done grabbing one of each. They feature the same color at both ends. So you get your brush and then you get your detail or your liner. And they're all water-based. The only one similar are the Zig Brushables and these are pigment inks. So they're very similar to do, 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 pit brush pins, which I've talked about here on the channel, but I've talked about more on netosu.blogspot.com. And these are neat because they have two colors. They go, a little goes a long way. You really only need a few and you've got a wide range to work from. And like the Crayolas, they have a fiber tip. So that is a brief look at the Crayolas. Next to Lee, snippety snap, Next to Lee, we're going to take a look at the very popular Tombow ABT, and we've talked about those on this channel as well. Now, the Tombow ABTs, you can get these at dickblick.com. Uh, they are, there are 96 colors available. There's a color chart available, and you can even get them in sets or open stock. And sets range anywhere from all 96 colors to individualized sets of 10 that come in selections such as manga shoujo colors, portrait colors, primary colors, and bright colors. And there's more sets than that. So Tombow has already recognized that, oh, hey, illustrators might want to use our markers, hence the shoujo and the portrait sets. They also have a colorless blender. Now on Dick Blick, they retail for $2.29 open stock or $1.49 for the set of 96 colors. So let's do a little math here. We've got 149 divided by 96 equals a dollar and 55 cents 
per marker if you buy the whole set. They have a large, generous fiber tip on one end and then a small bullet tip on the other. Very, very, very similar to those Crayola markers we were just looking at. Black body with screening. Color name is actually, I believe this number indicates the color name. And depending on where you order from, they will give them actual namey names that people recognize as names. Next, we have the Zig Art and Graphic Twin. And this is interesting because it seems like they are phasing the brush out, or maybe they've introduced a new one because I happen to have and I haven't even opened it. I'm a terrible person. It was sent to me like a million years ago in like an art snacks and I didn't even open it. Let's open it here. Let's open it today. We have the gray barreled art and graphic twin RB plus F real brush plus fine. So it's got an individual bristled nib on one end, just like the clean color real brush. And then it's got a little bullet nib on the other. And I really hate those little bullet nibs. I never use them. I know some people do. I've gotten fussed at for saying nobody uses the bullet nibs. And I've had people be like, mm -mm, ma'am. So, so we're looking up the Zig Art and Graphic Twin again on Dick Blick. Open stock, they are $2.86. They're also sold in sets. And let me see, there's a color chart available on Dick Blick if you are so interested. And it looks like there are 84 total colors and the 84 total color set retails for $240.54. So we're gonna be doing a little math again. We've got 240, 54 divided by 84 equals, you're paying $2.86 per marker in the set or you can get them open stock for $2.86 and there is a blender. Now, what I like about these, what I think makes these really special is they have a very soft foam rubber nib. Those of you who like Copic sketches, who like that super brush, very similar nib. This nib is not gonna tear up your paper the way stiffer fiber nibs will and it's not gonna get all mushy and gross. It's still gonna be able to pull a fine line, a fat line, a fine line. It's not gonna get destroyed. So this one is a really versatile marker. So if you guys can't tell my favorite, it's the Zig Art and Graphic Twin. Now, if you get American ones on the barcode, it will say the name and my camera it's having a hard time with that. And it is part of a larger Zig system. So you're going to be able to color match these with your art and graphic twins. You're even going to be able to color match these with curl color alcohol markers if you so desire. So there is a lot of flexibility, a lot of uh, intercompatibility with Zig products. So I really like Zig a lot. Then we've got the Zig brushables. Now these are also, you can color match between these two because they're part of the same system. Brushables can be difficult to find. I usually buy mine open stock at Plaza. Let us see if old Dick Blick has them. Zig Brushables. Oh, they do. <laughs> they're available in sets. So I don't know if I explained this here, but these are really neat in that you get a darker color, you get a lighter color. They both have a brush tip. Now, Unlike, unlike the Art and Graphic Twin, these I believe have a fiber tip on them, not a brush tip, which is, you know, the bane of my existence. <laughs> I would love it if they'd given us the, the wonderful foam rubber tip. I just love the foam rubber tip so much, but they don't. And you can get them open stock at uh, dickblick.com. And let me see if I can find how many there are. There are 24 markers. Each marker has two tips, so 48 markers. Plus, these are compatible with the Zig Art and Graphic Twins um, and the Zig Clean Color Real Brushes. So uh, they will blend together. They will play together. They, you can match the colors if you so desire. Um, so I really like these. And these are particularly great on coated paper. So they're really nice on Yupo, for example. Surprise, surprise, I know. Um, they're also good on vellum. So anything that isn't super absorbent, you actually can get a lot of blending. Now with these, they don't really work as well as watercolor markers because they are pigment based, not dye based. All the other markers we're talking about tonight are dye based. So 
So let us see. For the full, no, you cannot buy the full set. Oh, no, you can't. It's called the Assorted Colors Set of 24. My mistake. The Assorted Colors Set of 24 is $61.99 on Dick Blick. Dick Blick. So we've got $61.99 divided by 24. That means you're paying $2.51 per marker, but there's two, color par two colors per marker, and that's open stock. They're also sold in sets of threes, um, blues, browns, greens, purples, reds, yellows, so interblendable. And each set of three is 10.33. Oh, I'm sorry, set of four, my mistake. So if you get it in the set of four, you are paying $2.60, no, $2.58, my mistake. So of course, if you buy the whole set, you're saving money. What is weird is if you buy them individually, open stock, you're actually paying less on Dick Blick than if you bought the set of three. So that's something to think about. Now, finally, we've got the Marvy Lip Plume, and these have been phased out from just about everywhere. I think Jet Pen still sells them. They have a horrendous, the worst fiber tip. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's not a good fiber tip, even. The Crayolas have a better fiber tip, but their fine point is really nice in that it's a real fine point, not just a bullet point. And it's got the metal sheathing around it to protect it. And these are dye-based. And you can read full reviews for, I think, everything but the Crayolas over at natosoup.blogspot.com. Just search for that particular marker. I'm not gonna review the, I, or I don't think I'm gonna review the Crayolas over there since I'm reviewing them in depth over here. But I will probably list them over there so that it is cross-searchable. All right, so Marvy Lip Plume 2. Let's see if Blick has them. Blick says, no, we don't have them. So I think I'm going to try Jerry's. Doop, 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 doop. In fact, I am not finding them on Jerry's. Let me find them online and I'll get back to you guys. So on the Marvy Uchida of America site, they are listed at 259 open stock. They are available in sets as well. And I will have to count, they have a lot of colors. Um, they have 108 colors. Marvy matchable colors are available. Go to Marvy color chart to view all the 108 colors. And that is uchida.com. Uh, you can find them there and they actually give a fair amount of information on their site, which is nice. And they're available in sets of six, sets of 12, and a set of 24. And I don't see them open stock. No, you can get them open stock here too. So if you like these for whatever reason, you can get them at uchida.com by searching for Marvel Le Plume number two. Now they have a color number and a color name. And I assume, but I don't know for a fact, and you know what assuming makes you. I assume that uh, like the Kuratake line, these are color compatible and that you can match them with the alcohol markers that Marvy makes, but I have not double checked that. All right, so we have four, and there's many, many more water-based markers on the market. Uh, I've reviewed quite a few of them at natosoup.blogspot.com. You should be able to find most of the reviews under my water-based marker section. Um, there are many, many water-based markers on the market. There are many, many water-based markers that are very popular with brush and modern calligraphers on the market. I've reviewed a lot of those as well. I am coming from this as an illustrator, specifically a comic illustrator who draws a lot of people. So my needs are not the same as a calligrapher's needs. So I hope you guys will keep that in mind. So we're gonna start with the Crayola. The body is slightly shiny. The brush tip has an opaque cap. The uh, fine tip has a translucent cap. And the color names are on both sides in three languages. So jungle green, verde jungala, vert jungle, seafoam green, verde espuma marina, vert el acume de mar. My French is terrible. And we're going to zoom, 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 zoom in super much. Now I'm going to do some thin lines and then we're going to try to really get that brush. It's a stiff brush. There's not a lot of give to it. And then we've got the little bullet point. It's probably a one millimeter bullet point. 
Let's pretend we know how to do brush calligraphy. Let's do a really ugly eye. Bop, bop. Oh, it's an eye. Oh, I'm so good at this. So as I pointed out in the review for these, it doesn't, I don't understand why the lighter color is in the fine point and then the darker color is in the brush because if you're doing brush calligraphy, wouldn't you go for the opposite? Wouldn't you want the lighter color in the brush and then the darker color in your fine tip? But I don't know, it is a mystery. So I found the brush tip on that to be very stiff. All right, now we're gonna do the Tombow ABT. Slightly more flexible, still a foam, uh, no, not a foam rubber, a felt nib, still compressed fiber nib. And these have seen some use. I have used these for a while. So the fact that they're still fairly sharp is a testament to them. Let me cap that end. The smaller end is the same color, or at least it's sold as the same color. Now let's do some fake back calligraphy. Oh, look at me, I can do this, except I cannot. So if you were going for say an all-inclusive set where you get your darker and your lighter colors kind of in the same marker, uh, makes it easier. The Crayola set is very beginner friendly, it seems like. Now we're gonna do the Zig Art and Graphic Twin. And these are also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, these are also available in like portrait sets, manga sets, uh, basically sets designed for rendering people. And what's kind of neat about these is the harder you press, often the more ink you get. So you get more of a watercolor effect. And that is that foam rubber nib laying down all that beautiful ink. And then the bullet tip is just kind of unimpressive and very scratchy. And it sticks out like a million miles. Now we've got the brushables. So we're gonna start with the lighter of the two colors which would be antique, bur well, it's antique burgundy. So you've got light burgundy and dark burgundy. And from my research, when I was originally reviewing these, this is the true color. So this is a tone of that color. So these are, like I said, foam, not foam. I keep saying foam, felt. They are fiber, fiber nibs, y'all. So we're gonna do the same fake calligraphy. It is, for, of the felt nibs I've reviewed, it is the softer felt nib. So it's got a lot of bounce and flex to it. Go over it with the darker color. And you have to swatch these because they are sometimes darker than, they, than the cap would lead you to believe. But they have a good amount of bounce and flex without the nib fraying. And that's also an important thing to consider. So finally, we've got the Marvit Le Plume Bleu in Caribbean Blue. And this is like using those old magic markers from when we were kids, where you get like that kind of like fuzzy gross line. Let me zoom in for you guys. It gives you a fuzzy kind of gross line. It doesn't really feel good in the hand. And are you gonna focus? There we go. You guys could see that it's truly a gross fiber nib. It's sort of like those Peter Popper uh, alcohol brush pins I reviewed, alcohol markers rather, I reviewed like in 2015. Just not my recommendation, not my favorite. And what is neat is that the foam rubber nib for the Zig Art and Graphic Twin, the ink can keep up for the most part with how much you're putting on the paper. Whereas with these felt nibs, they can't keep up. So you're gonna get a dry brush effect. This also, this particular brand also works the worst I have found as a watercolor marker. Oh, and this one is dying. So anyway, that is a side-by-side -side comparison of Marvy La Plume 2, Crayola Signature, Zig Brushables, Zig Art and Graphic Twin, and Tombow ABT. 
I hope this video was helpful, useful, and informative to you guys. If you guys are interested in the Crayola signature markers, you should check out my swatch video, and you should also check out my field test for these. If you're interested in affordable, accessible art supplies, or you've got an intrepid kiddo who would love to learn how to draw and color and watercolor and marker and make comics, you can send them over to my art tutorials for kids or my easy art tutorial playlist or even my cheap art supplies playlist. If you're looking for more information, more in-depth information and solid reviews for everything but that Crayola marker, you should head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. There is a lot of great art supply review there, reviews there. You can either check out my hub pages like watercolor basics, water-based markers, alcohol markers, and intro to comic craft, or you can search for what you're looking for in the search bar at the top. If you guys ever have any questions, let me know either in the comments here or via email and I'll get back to you guys. So bye guys.